A Bill of Divorcement is a pretty enjoyable film. This is the 1932 film directed by George Cukor and stars Catherine Hepburn and John Barrymore as Sidney and her father, Hilary Fairfield. This is actually based on the play by Clemens Dane. I haven't seen the play, but after watching the film, I actually would be quite keen to see it. I really enjoyed the narrative. I enjoyed the characters, particularly of Hilary and Sydney. And I'll talk about those in a moment. There are actually, I think, two other films. Um, yes, I've Googled it, 1922 and 1940. I haven't seen either of those. I think I'd quite like to. If you have seen either of them and can recommend them, please feel free to do so. But this focuses on a man called Hilary who has been in... Uh, a mental institute for many, many, many years. And he manages to escape and returns home. And there's this wonderful moment where Sydney says to him, I think you're my father. She just instantly recognises that this man is her father. And instantly there is a connection between the pair of them. And as the narrative develops, in fact, very early on, Sydney begins to display characteristics that are not unlike Hillary's and it starts to question whether mental illness can be hereditary in this case because it seems like there was a trigger for his illness but they start to wonder if actually it could be a genetic thing but I won't say exactly what happens with that but it does start to explore that which I think is very fascinating. It is mostly about the character of Hillary and how people have responded to him. Sydney, of course is very taken with him and instantly sees him as as her daddy as this man who's not been in her life and there's an instant rapport however Hillary's wife doesn't have the same response I won't say exactly how or why but she's definitely moved on and she's definitely got a very different uh, or she gives him a very different reception and not only is it about the way people respond to him and the way he responds to other people, but there are also questions, of course, of what's going to happen to him. Will he have to go back to where he was? And it's unclear where certain threads of the narrative are going in a, in a really pleasing way where I enjoyed watching the narrative develop. The narrative is interesting, but it is absolutely character driven and behavior driven. And because we have some fantastic performances, including, of course, from Hepburn and Barrymore, it's it's really interesting to watch. I love anything that looks at mental health. I think it's one of the most interesting subjects. Uh, and I think this does it well. This does address it in a way that I think was very fascinating, very sensitively done. There were certain characters, of course, who weren't sensitive about it. But that that was the opinions of the characters not the opinions of the film as a whole. So I think it worked very well. I enjoyed it and it was a good sign for me to get to the end of it where my thought was, yes, I'd like to see the other films and I I wouldn't mind seeing the play one day. So that to me is a good sign of a, an interesting narrative with some really fascinating characters. I wouldn't have heard of this were it not for Catherine Hepburn. So I'm glad I had a reason to watch it. If you like films that look at mental health and relationships, this is an ideal film for that. As I said, I haven't seen the other two films. If you've seen either of them and have a preference between this one or one of those, feel free to share that information. I think I would like to check out the others. But for now, I'm very happy with having watched the 1932 A Bill of Divorcement. It's definitely a film I recommend.